Oh my God. Hi, um, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Sandy, and today we are gonna be pretty much organizing and storing my photo cards. Again, I think this might be the third video I might be making. Um, this is the third time that I've filmed this. So the first time what happened is that I literally had like an anxiety attack like halfway. So like that was just kind of a rip. Then I said, okay, maybe I'll film it on another day. And then that other day, I don't know what the hell happened, but like the audio wasn't working for my phone and like the angling was just super off. And like, I just hated it. So I had to film it again. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> So I literally just take out all the photo cards and I film it again. This is why I just, maybe I should just not be on YouTube. Like honestly, like <laughs> honestly going terrible so far. Um, but yeah, and on top of that, there has been a lot of like rearranging that's happened ever since. And I think I'm gonna go and talk about that towards the end of the video. Like I'll be going through my binders and kind of talking about that. So if that isn't your cup of tea, then I will let you know when I'm done storing my photo cards pretty much. And also like, there's a couple of photo cards that I just like, I was too lazy to take it out of the binder, lol. Okay, so we are starting with my mini A5 Beyond D binder. I actually did buy another binder. I will kind of explain <laughs> like why I decided to um, get another binder. But for now, I will just be storing these photo cards. Okay, so just be in general might be one hell of an annoying group to collect because I honestly haven't met a single person alive who wants to collect <laughs> or wants to trade pretty much. I have this DIY uh, ID photo card and I honestly just don't know who wants it, you know, like that kind of thing. Like, I swear nobody in Singapore wants to collect just be so or like knows who just be is i literally am collecting two members so i've decided to actually collect gonu and jm however it's going to be a little bit of a difficult process for me obviously because like nobody seems to collect just be in singapore so i'm probably gonna have to buy these photo cards online mercari so far nothing yet i think i saw jm's id photo card on mercari but besides that nothing else Okay, so moving on, we are in our SM section. So there is a lot of rearranging that I have to do with this one and a lot of it, <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but I think I'll be making a separate video for that specifically. Oh boy. Yeah, I changed some of the sleeves to um, white sleeves, I would say. Is this? Oh, okay, let me take this out. This is Coco Bop. These are both Coco Bop, but I might not be keeping these photo cards later. Okay, I'll I'll just talk about it another time. I'll just I'll just I'll let y'all I'll let y'all breathe for a bit right now. So if you're new here, you're probably wondering what this binder is. So this binder is actually for photo cards that I just don't collect, but I plan to keep, or. Um, some of these cards are actually up for trades, but I just decided to keep them regardless um, for now, like in this binder specifically. Like um, Jongho, Jongho and some of Hongjun's cards are actually up for trades or sales, but because I did complete my entire like collection, I just decided to just keep these cards for now. And yeah, I did actually have to buy this hunt card to complete this page, so then it actually looks kind of nice. So that's exactly what I did. Um, yeah, luckily I had this. So I actually pulled this Hyunjin from my IMU album, and I was like gonna trade it obviously for Jungin, but I decided in the end not to, and I'm very glad because this is honestly my favorite photo card, like from Stray Kids in general. So. Very happy to like be able to keep it, I would say. So sorry, there's like a hair. Yeah, I got some Wiki Mickey cards. Um, 
to just complete one page of wikimiki because like i actually do like want to collect wikimiki however like it, the trading community is just so difficult at the moment and i just can't trade with people at the moment like it's honestly just so super difficult also fantagio doesn't restock their albums i swear to god like <laughs> i honestly can't find any of wikimiki's albums anywhere um especially like the older ones so i just decided to buy these online also makari is just difficult in general don't know why for wiki mickey um but yeah what i want to talk about is that i know that this is like a k-town for you pre-order benefit however it's so thin that it like bends so i was just like what the hell i thought this was a freebie and i thought i was scammed but apparently not because i saw some unboxings of the album there's either k-town for you or like another pre-order benefit but like honestly i just got super worried because i was like what if it isn't and this is actually like someone scamming me so yeah i i'm still terrified to this day if it's still someone scamming me so yeah i think this is the god seven page that i set up okay so whoa okay so i'm supposed to have one more card <laughs> uh i'm supposed to have one more mark card where's mark oh mark's over there sorry i found mark okay so <laughs> I, obviously this page I'm just gonna set it up by age order honestly um, yeah I actually like these page a lot pages a lot better than in comparison to like the what do you call it oh my god I can believe beyond D oh my god beyond D photo card pages I honestly like Amifa a lot more. Like the quality is just a lot better. It's like super flat. Like these ones, I just don't know why I don't like it as much. But yeah, I do have this group card to put away. I actually did buy a Map of the Soul album. Uh, and I happened to pull the group card instead of like a solo card. So I was like a bit confused. I thought I was like, you know, there's a misprint or something, but apparently like you can also pull a group card separately. So yeah. I have no idea. I honestly don't know anything about uh, BTS albums, to be honest. Yeah, so I think that's it for this album. I'll be moving on to the next album, which has like less photo cards in it, I guess. Hi, yes. So I had a tendency to say albums instead of <laughs> binder. <laughs> so I literally, I think I just, I think I said album, didn't I? I meant binder. But yeah, I only have these two Jungin photo cards to store away for this binder. So yeah, oh my god, directly at this page, that's so nice. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, I'm going like super quick today because I don't actually have a lot of photo cards to store um, for today, or it doesn't feel like I have a lot, like that in comparison to usual. And I think it has a lot to do with the fact that there's no comebacks this month. So yeah, it was less chaotic, I guess, in comparison to other groups, but yeah. Um, I'm done with a Jongin. Also, Hyunjin is back. I'm so happy. Oh, but I did set up a page to collect um, two members for the next comeback for Stray Kids. Um, and then I'm going to be collecting four members for the double sided photo cards. And then um, I think I got a limited album, so I am able to get an, the the full photo card set like kind of like the twice pre-order photo cards i think that's i think i got it i think hopefully i got it all right so this next binder uh we have quite a bit of good cards to put away i'm not gonna flex but i am gonna flex at the same time i did find some god seven rare cards uh, for a relatively good price um sorry I'm, I'm gonna first put this uh bam bam photo card away oh yeah also i like put like I made it like colorful in the back because actually it makes the photo card stand out more um, in that sense. So that's why I did that. I haven't done that for the rest of my OT7 sets, but I did do that for this. Yeah, so this is the one Bam Bam photo card that I have to put away. I'm very happy about this. Um, I do have to keep going to the back, I think. Oh, no, no, no. Is it, it's one of these sets, okay. Yeah, I have quite a bit of cards on the way for GOT7 actually. I am still looking for that Jin Young Yu card, I swear. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Like that card right there is so difficult. Um, I did get this Jin Young photo card, however, 
I when I bought it, it was kind of slightly damaged, but I got it for a really good price because um, I got it with the album plus the pre-order like postcards, I think. Like the flip book postcard. So this is like the special postcard book. But, like I got it with this as well. So honestly, it was a steal in my opinion. Um, what else? Oh, the last photo card is this photo card. Okay, so I got this. Don't mind this. I accidentally thought I bought the got it photo card, but it was actually got love. But yeah. Oh, big flex. Um. <laughs> So I actually do complete OT, like, sorry, I do complete Jackson, Jin Young, and Bam Bam forgot it. Um, I did buy, I did buy all three of them, two of them from eBay. I know it's sketchy, but like this person has like really high reviews and stuff like that. Like for this one, I bought off of Carousel. I'm meeting the person, I think this week to, you know, collect it. So yeah. I'm very excited about that. I literally just did this all today. So <laughs> a fun fact, I am going to be complete with got it and I'm freaking out. <laughs> okay, next binder. Okay, so I did set up for a switch on. Um, for those who didn't watch my other video, I do plan to collect two members for switch on because I have enough albums to collect two members. So that is exactly why. I have two pages set up here. Um, for this page, I do complete, wait, so sorry. Yeah, so these are like all the cards I have to put away today. Literally only one album photo card and the rest are all make star photo <laughs> cards. Um, but yeah, I have this ton up to put away. I'm pretty much done with all yours. So I have all of these cards, however, I just need to trade this last card, then I'm complete with my OT6 set. So honestly, work in progress, don't you think? All right, okay. So I did buy the Switch On album from the Market Shop with fans, so I should be getting all six of the special cards. And then I actually bought three from Apple Music, so I should also be getting more from Apple Music. So to be honest, I'm just trying to see if I pull my bias. If not, I can trade or I can just sell my Apple Music photo cards off. And for those who don't know, my bias is Moonbin and my bias rec is Unwu and Rocky. Just an FYI. However, this comeback, Jinjin Jin has been bias wrecking me so much. So I'm, my second member might be Jinjin Jin, or it might be Rocky. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Still debating. Anyways, I'm going to be moving on to my next binder, which is the girl groups binder, I think. All right. So this is like the one time I think this video might be super short. So... <laughs> I'm really happy. I've been wanting to like get like make a shorter video for like my storing photo cards. So these are all the photo cards that I have to put away for this binder specifically. Um, a huge chunk of it is obviously twice because the Taste of Love comeback just happened. Um, I do actually have quite a bit of Everglow photo cards to put away um, because I got some in the mail recently and I should be getting a lot more in the mail, but Hmm, maybe this week or maybe next week. But yeah, anyways, um, <laughs> I know that I have these photo cards to put away. I literally just got, was it, which one did I get in the mail yesterday? Oh, I got this one in the mail yesterday. So I'm actually almost done with my Chaeyoung set. I just need to look for one more photo card. And then for Sana, I always have to look for one, two, three, four, five. No, wait, three. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. Cause I have her lenticular, yeah. We'll just put that there first. Um, put this one, it's not this one. Okay, just an FYI, I go by feeling. I don't have to conform to everybody else's like sets, twice as sets. So I get to put whatever card, wherever I want, however I want, with whoever I want. So, just an FYI, if these sets are not correct, I don't care. This is more like personal preference because I just want to like see it and like think like, oh my God, this looks pretty together. Do you get what I mean? So yeah. Um, 
Yeah, these two are definitely not together. Um, in my opinion, it's not together. This one, I think, should go with this. I think these two should go together. Yeah. Then this can go in here because I'm still looking for that Sonic card and I'm still looking for Chaeyoung's Lenticular. Let me just see if I like this or not. Yes, I do. I like this a lot. I like this page a lot, and I like this page a lot. Okay, I'm very excited. Um, so I think like I'll just mention it really briefly here, but I do not to intend. I do not to. <laughs> I do not intend to backlight Jihyo anymore. Hence, why a lot of these filler pages have been taken out, or a lot of pages have been taken out in general, because I just decided not to backlight Jihyo anymore. I don't like it backlighting especially for like groups that like you know i don't want to invest too much time in so hence why i decided to just stop back collecting um that's just something normal that's just something people have to get used to i don't know like not everyone has to back collect you don't have to complete your collections like just a normality just just keep it real hun just keep it real yeah also like here i did a five pattern i probably just need to do this again I think I'm also going to do another five pattern here um, because I do intend not to collect the, what do you call it, the holographic card for this one. And also like after the issue with like the V-Live and everything for Everglow, I just cannot support the company anymore. But I do, do, do want to support the girls like regardless of, so I'm just at the moment just trying to process and still trying to figure out how i can do that without supporting the company <laughs> so yeah that reflects on my collection so like i'm not sure if i can further collect on everglow but i definitely can complete these ones for sure that's that's not gonna be like not an option anytime soon i sorry this is about the wrong thing <laughs> well um yeah, so I still plan to finish these collections, like these slots. However, I just don't think I can like collect them anymore. I don't know, this honestly depends on like the situation, which is kind of sad because Everglow is like the number one girl group for me. So I like love them to death. They're considered like my old girl group, so yeah. All right, so I have for this binder, my 2 p.m. collection. Um, I know I put like three boy groups into one binder so far, and that has mostly to do with like weight distribution, but like obviously once that binder gets full, I do plan to move maybe Jongin and like my Stray Kids collection into here. So then it's like more full, I guess. Um, but yeah, anyways. Um, so these are all 2 p.m. Just an FYI. <laughs> all of these cards are 2 p.m. Um, if you don't know me, uh, my very first ever boy group that I fell in love with was 2 p.m. Um, and honestly changed my life so far in terms of like how much I love K-pop and everything. But I fell out of K-pop because the second I found out that they weren't gonna be promoting anymore, um, I was like, okay, I can't do this. So that's exactly what happened. Um, and then they start, then there was like news that Juno was finishing the army and I was like, oh my God, are they gonna have a comeback? And of course they are gonna have a comeback, Sandy. Um, I honestly fell back into like K-pop because of GOT7. So like, thank you GOT7 for that. But like, I honestly was just super shocked that 2PM was gonna have a comeback and I'm just so dumb for like doubting them in the beginning because like, uh, because of Tekken, especially because Tekken isn't a part of JYP anymore. He's in another acting agency. However, I think they found a way to like, you know, let him promote still with 2PM. So I was just really happy in general about that when I heard the news, especially. So I was like, oh my God, I'm here. And summer come back 2 p.m. Yes. And like, I'm really happy because like Singapore like has a little, quite a bit of hottest. So I'm like, 
very glad <laughs> about that. Okay, these are all Lu Young. This is, I think this one goes here and then these two go here. Yep, I'm right. So yeah, for those who don't know, uh, Nikun is actually my very, very first ever K-pop bias. Um, my second ever like K-pop bias is actually Baekhyun and then a uh, Lu Han from EXO, but like he's not EXO anymore. But yeah, I was like very um, 2 p.m. obsessed since the very beginning. So, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I can't even process my thoughts, but ever since the Grown album released, I was kind of obsessed with them from Grown onwards. Um, but obviously like I wasn't in the loop with K-pop as often because mainly because of the fact that like in my school, it was kind of frowned upon to like K-pop. So like, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so yar, yar. So your girl was like, nah, but then yeah, but then nah, but then yeah. It's like, so it's just like a lot of, I'm so sorry. I'm very confusing, isn't it? But yeah, I'll just, I'll just, my hottest story is kind of hilarious. So actually how I found out about 2PM was through Dance Dance Revolution, like the actual game. And I was doing one of the songs and I was like, oh my God, these guys are so attractive. And then I was like listening to the song and I was like, oh my God, I love the song. And it was for hands up. And then I realized that the video was taking place in Singapore. So I was like, oh my gosh. That is crazy. Yeah, so for those who don't know, Hands Up, the music video was actually taken in Singapore in Sentosa, I think. But yeah, anyways, I guess that's my hottest story. Moving on to like the very last binder and then I'll be talking about my collection plans. So obviously, last but not least, we have our ATs binder. I have a lot <laughs> of ATs as per usual. Um, oh, wait, not a lot, but like quite a bit. Um, obviously, not as much as usual. So I am a bit shocked myself. But um, yeah, I guess I'll take this time to like explain the fact that I'm just not in it for the like collecting community anymore i don't know why i think like i've just kind of been sick and tired of like some people in terms of like trading or like selling too like i don't know why people are just making me frustrated all the time i just i don't know i just wish people knew what etiquette was <laughs> because i swear to god some of these people just don't know when to stop thumb <laughs> calm down that is like that is like one thing i wish i can tell the collecting community like calm the heck down it's not like you're not gonna get this photo card like ever first of all like oh my it's not, not like a oh my god if i like sorry i'm not even explaining this very clearly it's not like you're never gonna ever get that photo card you are gonna get that photo card but like just don't treat it as if like oh my god if i don't do this this way then like i'll never then I'll never have it and stuff like that, especially for like a good price and stuff like that. I have to negotiate and stuff like that. Like <sighs> people need to chill, okay? Like I'm usually very descriptive. Like read the description before you ask me, you know, that kind of a thing. I all like, I always just like, that's just like the one thing. Like just read the description before you ask me. Also, I am like so dumb. I, especially for like the subscribers who actually watch my videos, like I'm, Collecting Mingi fever onwards, by the way. Just an FYI. Oh my god, I shouldn't even have said that. Yeah, okay, what, okay, like, what do I mean by like calm down? What do I mean by calm down? I feel like people are just very desperate to get a card, but people need to understand that this is literally, like we're talking, this is cardboard here. 
And the only reason why you desperately want that card right then and right now is because you feel like you need that card right then and right now. Why are you pestering other people to try and give you that card right then and right now when you don't really need that card right then and right now? Do you get what I mean? And also like, why don't you like find better deals or like just wait a bit, you know? I just want people to chill down, okay? Like in the Kpop community, like I understand that like you really want these cards, but like really? Do you need it that badly that you have to like make someone else so stressed in their lives? Like there's just like, it's just like basic etiquette, I would say. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like this whole trading and selling thing like has been getting me super anxious and like, I just need a break from it all. You get what I mean? But I like love photo cards. <laughs> so, I prefer to just buy from people rather than like uh, sell myself or trade myself. Like I just like find it so difficult because like whenever I always put out offers on like Instagram or like on Carousel for example, like that's when the stress begins. So yeah, it's been like a bit oof. I think one people definitely need to learn is chill. Or like just be aware of like the other party I would say. Because like if the other party is willing to do so much um, for you, then respect it and don't ask too much of it. Do you get what I mean? I don't really know how else to describe it. It's just been making me stressed. Sorry, I had like a mini rant right there and like, oh. Okay, I actually did want to show a little bit of, welcome to my broadcast replica binder. So yeah, I actually got these off of Shopee. I bought the binder from Tokyo Hands. It's a store in Singapore. Um, not really sure if there is one in other countries, but yeah, these are the Beyond Deep sleeves. Um, Cause I don't really like those. These are freebies from fan cafes. Um, this is also from fan cafes, fan cafes and stuff like that. I actually do have another like uh, binder full of like freebies, I guess. Um, in all honesty, this one has been getting full, so I might need to use my second binder, lol. But here, these are all the freebies I got from fan cafes. Just an FYI for those who are like interested in like what this is. So I actually bought this Ultra Pro online. Um, and what happened was that like I was originally going to use this as a trade binder, however. Um, the pages were just so bad quality. I don't even know if it's ultra pro So and I hole punched the sides myself Just an FYI Fun fact <laughs> I might have to move out of this binder and I move to the next one But I uh, move it into a smaller one to move it into another one. Oh my god Um, so that's pretty much it for like this portion of the video So that was me storing my photo cards and now I'm gonna get into talking about my collection plans pretty much I actually do um, intend to stop collecting Kino because I honestly just can't keep up with it right now. Yeah, I did rearrange my binder so many times. So I decided to just put this Kino, this Black Hall Kino in the middle of this four pattern. So it looks nice because I'm still going to back collect Yanan. I don't plan to give up his collection anytime soon. Uh, for Stray Kids, I still am going to collect all of these cards, just figuring out when. Um, cause Jungin's cards are going for a lot more cheaper than usual, so yeah, I just need to find the rest of his cards for an upcoming comeback. I am collecting this, so two members for the regular photo cards and four members for the double-sided photo cards, and then hopefully I can put my OT8 set of the limited photo cards in here. Um, for in Hypen, I do plan to stop collecting, uh, Sungin. So my Sungin collection looks a little bit like this right now. So I only have one nine pocket page. I am gonna probably move this into like my one pocket, um, into like my mini binder. So we'll see what happens depending on what I do with like the rest of my collection. And uh, in terms of collecting new people, I am collecting um, Gonu and JM for Just Be. And then also picking up Bang Chan, hopefully for Stray Kids, but I'm not back collecting him anymore. I might buy some of his photo cards, like if I find it for like a really good price and if it's super cute, then I'll probably keep those. 
um i'll move on to the next binder i guess because i'll be talking about a little bit about that a little bit more so i think i already like explained it in the other clip but for twice i do intend to collect jiho still like in the future however i do not intend to back collect jiho anymore so i have like these cards right now um and like i am honestly debating if i should move these into like her own Beyond D binder. I actually bought two more Beyond D binders just in case, but I don't think I'll be doing that. I might be moving my Everglow collection actually into a Beyond D binder, but definitely not my Twice collection. And I might move Twice to the same binder as my 2PM binder. So like in terms of like reconfiguring where everything goes, that's mostly like what's gonna happen for the rest of this year. I'm still trying to figure out where everything is going to go because if you notice these binders are like super small so i might have one less binder but like more mini binders if that makes sense okay so lastly and i do now intend to collect everything sehun um so i'll be having a clip on that i do plan to collect sehun very thoroughly now since i have a lot of his photo cards anyways so a lot of these are actually going to be up for trades for sehun equivalents um, yeah, I'm going to be pretty much trading these for Sehun equivalents. Hopefully I can get some, but, um, if not, then I'll sell these and hopefully I can use that money to buy Sehun photo cards. I think I found someone on Carousel who wants this one, so I'm going to ask if I can trade for Sehun. But yeah, I'm picking up a new collection and Sehun is going to have his new, like his own binder. So I'm going to be moving these out at one point and then yeah so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you found it somewhat entertaining and that you liked it um please stay safe stay healthy uh leave a like and hopefully subscribe to my channel um thank you so much and hopefully i can see you in the next video bye guys